All right, so we're back with TV host Karamo Brown. Woo! Yes, so happy to have you here, Karamo. Thanks, I love being here. Yeah, we love yeah. you. All right, you guys ready to dish stories, shall we? I think yeah. we are. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Australia threatens to kill this, I can't even say it out loud, Johnny Depp's dogs. Okay, so this is what happened. Johnny Depp is in Australia right now filming his new Pirates of the Caribbean movie. He took two of his dogs with him via private airplane so nobody knew, right? Then it was discovered that he took these two dogs in Australia, that they've been in Australia, and the Department of Agriculture is pissed. This is what happened. They put a notice on Johnny Depp's house. You have 50 hours to remove your dogs or else they're going to be euthanized or exported. But this is exactly what the minister, Barnaby Joyce, had to say. And I think Brett should read it because you do a pretty good Australian accent. An amazing accent. Yeah. There is a process if you want to bring animals. You get the permits, you go to the quarantine, and then you can have them. But if we start letting movie stars, even though they've been the sexiest man alive twice, to come into our nation and break the laws, then why don't we just break the laws for everybody? It's time that Pistol and Booze buggered back off to the United States. <laughs> and he then says, he buggered back <laughs> off. I love that. Yeah, and then he did uh, say a couple of times that they will be euthanized. He says right here, we do not want to euthanize them, but they will be euthanized if Johnny Depp does yeah. not come and collect the dogs. We do not want to euthanize them, but it would be very fun. Yeah. Oh, thoughts, yeah. five words or less. Uh, Depp doggy <laughs> <laughs> Um more like Captain Jack De Sparrow. Despair. Uh-huh. Good job. Or or more like youth in Australia. Yes. Okay. Uh, don't put them down under. Please oh. don't. <laughs> that Please. was a very whimsical pun. Yes. For something that I know just wrecks you inside. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine. And here's the thing, because a lot of people are giving are, are, are hating on this minister. But you have to understand that it's their job to make sure that, you know, you can't just bring an animal into any, you know, any new country. They have to go through the, the, the quarantine process to make sure that they don't have diseases, to make sure that they're not rabid. So, so Johnny Depp should have done his due diligence and done it right. But come on, can't you just say, come collect your dog, find him, deal with him, export the dogs, don't threaten to euthanize Can them. Can I first tell you this? I love rich people problems. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Like, I flew dogs in on my private plane and then had to fly back and now the Prime Minister has found out and there's a big press around it. Rich people are amazing. I love it. Yeah. It's so good. I love that they're like, these dogs could be very dangerous. These tiny <laughs> terriers that are like this big and have names like Pistol. Are you the little guy making all that big noise? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, clearly I'm sure they're all vaccinated, but they do have to set that precedent. They yeah. can't just allow people to come into their country and bring plants that aren't claimed, to bring animals that aren't quarantined, right. but still, like, I, uh, But doesn't Johnny have someone who can just go and do this for him really quickly? Like, he's a movie star. Like, this should be a quick process of getting this done. I don't understand I why it's gotten this much out of proportion. <laughs> he has to have, like, an Australian agent that will go there and Get the paperwork and handle it. You're gonna need plenty of legal advice before this thing is over. Oh, yeah. You have to do it right. You do. It's your dogs. You're, you're, you're taking care of your dogs and you don't want to put them in danger. So shame on Johnny Depp. But at the same time, I don't know. I just don't even like the idea of these dogs even be potentially being euthanized. I think they should do it. Go right through with it. Shut up, Brad. Don't. I think they should get rid of these dogs. No. You're, please don't even play with me right now. Just get, just get rid of them. Stop it. They're a menace. Stop. It just would be better for them. Stop. These so poor like, two dogs. It will be. It'll be quick. Fine, She's Johnny. Up. No, just fine. take some chloroform. She's no, up. stop it. Uh, no. Fine, I, I, Johnny I, Depp. Because if it was my dog, I would. I would. I would stand in front of it. Like if it was like almost as if I'm envisioning like a railroad, right? Just there was change like, herself to the dog. I would. I would. Yeah. I would hover over the dog. Aww. If you're going to euthanize the dog, you're going to have to euthanize me first. Those are my babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those I are love, my babies. This is what I love. They're protecting the wildlife of Australia. So like, we can't <laughs> let these tiny puppies in. We need to protect the poisonous snakes, <laughs> the poisonous insects, the poisonous birds, I'm yeah. sure. Like, when you think about Australian wildlife, it is the scariest place yeah. in the universe. Yeah. It's Definitely. nothing but stuff that will kill you. And wasn't it initially for lepers, or was that somewhere else? Was it Australia? Oh, no, it was a prison colony. It was a yeah, prison colony. Okay, so where did the lepers go? There was another, was um, it off near Hawaii? Kauai or something? I want to say they sent them to Old Valeria. <laughs> 
<laughs> to deal with the whatever grayscale they may have. Yeah, I don't know. 